Nice Saber 1000 here. This is what we're going to do today. We're going to be taking this out, putting this new one in here. So, I got to do some checking. I got to get some, some glue, and I have to get some um, PVC because I'm going to have to cut some of this, and then I'm going to have to make it come up to that. So, first thing I'm going to do is cut that one out of there, and we're going to see what we need. Okay, I'm going to try to do this without getting in your way too much. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it off here. And I wish I had a better hacksaw blade. This one. This one's cutting at an angle. I'll have to get me another blade while I'm out. There's a little bit of water in here, but everything's shut off. here now we'll have some water come out of the bottom of that but that's okay we don't need to worry about that is that in your way now let's try and see if we're gonna shot here cut this bottom one off right about here we should get some water out of this one uh, probably just gonna pick me up a new hacksaw too that drain out and I'll give it I'll give it its final cut there and I'll show you what we're going to do is see the other one's lower here and it's higher there so I'm gonna to have to bring this up and this one's gonna to have to come straight across I'm gonna to have to cut it here whoops sorry cut it here and run a 90 into it so all right now i'm gonna have to get some straight piece of pipes i'm gonna need three 90s one two three and some straight and a coupler or two and some glue so i'm gonna go write that down and then uh I'll sweat on my new camera see it's always a little bit left in there pump does work I did kick the pump off for a second it kicked right on so and it wanted to pump I seen water start coming through there um, so the pumps awesome uh, probably just gonna get me a new one of them instead of a blade I don't know but anyway so let me make a list and then when we come when I get back, I'm not going to film all that stuff for you. When I get back, we'll go ahead and finish cutting this off. And we'll cut it off down, down there. We'll start putting it together. It's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, they, they do even give you some, um, they give you some thread tape. Which, that's good. You really, really only need it on the gauge. Which, your gauge is right in this box here, so... I uh, had some thread tape out here. Alright, so 
let me get a list made and I'm gonna head out and I'll be back with you guys for you it'll just be a second hang tight okay guys this is what I did I took this off of here I'm going away with all this I'm gonna put a new piece of pipe here and I'm gonna put a 90 here and a piece of pipe here it's doing away with that and then I'm gonna put a 90 here straight into the pump and this right here I'm gonna put a 90 and I'm gonna come up wherever I need to be and then the 90 into the uh, into here which it has these things they got little seals that go in there and it'll go on like that and then our 90 will pretty much butt up against this but we'll have a piece of pipe in there so I bought all that we're not probably not going to use it all but also I want to do a review on this saw okay but you'll have to watch the next video to check this saw out so I'm going to put this back in there and get it set where I need it or close to it and then we'll go from there I'll have to take some measurements I don't know if I have a tape measure with me but if not I can use this to measure it's no big deal okay so let me get you on the stand okay gonna be something like that as you can see right there we're gonna put a 90 and come up and then go over and again down there we're just going to come out there over and in so let me go ahead and let me get an idea of what I'm going to need pipe wise So I'm going to cut it a little long so I'm looking about right there so I'm going to cut this pipe off and we'll start putting this together okay I think I measured I think I needed seven inches for the first cut and I'll just use this one to mark it with I got a pen in there, but I think monkey's using it, so. As you can see, I do have a tape measure here, thanks to monkey. Albeit a little funky looking, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? So, now let's get the saw, and let's start cutting this. See if I can get a straight cut. Alright, not bad. It's a little crooked, but that's me, not the saw. So far, it works pretty good on this so what I got to do now is I've got to take some sandpaper and I'm going to clean this off which I did go buy some sandpaper we'll get this all cleaned off and we'll once we clean it off we'll go outside and we'll put it on okay guys so let's just go ahead and clean this off here real quick just want to this in here I'm going to be putting up inside that rubber uh, coupling or coupler, whatever you prefer. And um, now I'll have to do the same thing outside. I'll have to clean uh, that one in before I put it in, but I'll, we'll get to that. That's putting the car in front of the horse. Yeah, I kind of, I used to make such perfect straight cuts, but not anymore. So this is going to have the rubber coupling like this. So this doesn't really matter. This side is the end that's going to be, it's going to have the uh, the elbow on it. 
So I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and glue the elbow on in here because I can glue this elbow on here while we're in here, but the other one will have to go outside and glue it on. Because once you, once you glue these on, I'll show you, but you want to turn them a quarter turn. And I got some primer and primer cleaner. All right, so I'm just want to scuff that up a little bit. This is just 120 grit sandpaper. All right, let me get an elbow and some glue and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, I actually had to use a pipe wrench to get this damn lid off here. It's never been opened before. This is PVC pipe. It's, uh, I think it's 280 PSI. Uh, yes, it's uh, 280 PSI. And um, it's PVC, but it, it's just, um, this is well casing. So it, it's fine, it'll be fine for this. So let's go ahead and this is our primer. It's primer cleaner. It does both. I've got to keep you back a little bit. I don't want to get this stuff all over the camera or the tripod. Okay. I'm going to set this down. Now I'm going to get inside the elbow too. Get it cleaned up. Or I'll get it nice and okay just like that same as with any plumbing now let's see if I can get this glue it's just all-purpose cement it's for PVC CPVC and ABS so it's perfect for what I'm using here and again ugh, I can't get that open I need to use these and they've never been up before, brand new cans. Okay, so, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is, okay, you wanna let that dry. I'm gonna put some around here, just like this. I'm gonna put some on the inside of here, just like this. Now, I'm going to put these together like this and give it a quarter turn and it says to hold it 30 seconds. I'm not going to bore you with that. So, next, next uh, cut will be, will be outside. Okay, slight change of plans. I went ahead and took a couple measurements. That way I can make a couple cuts in here where it's a little bit cooler. So, first cut will be seven and a half. I've already got it marked. Cut two. I decided to cut the other pieces off inside the garage because it's a little cooler. Uh, still cars going past, of course, everywhere I film. I'm not getting the straightest cuts, but they'll be fine. Did you guys notice on the last one that I cut, I cleaned both ends and I only needed to clean one because it goes into rubber. So I just wondered how many of you guys caught that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, that one's eight and three quarters. I need a seven and a half piece here. So, it's right on the end of that E and piece. Okay, let's cut this off. This was eight and three quarter. I forgot to hit the cord. Then we should be able to go back outside. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off because it's pretty boring you get the idea we have to cut pipe so let me get this cut and then we'll go outside and start putting some things together okay guys I don't know how much I got of this but anyway I went ahead and I glued this up the way I needed it to be um, I was just going to fast forward it for you but apparently I didn't hit record and uh, so anyway, I've got it glued up. We're gonna take this outside. We're gonna put this one on and then we'll go up to the top part 
which I'll probably have to do out there. We'll just have to see. But anyhow, let's take this out and let's put it on. We have a rubber seal we gotta put in here. I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, now this is pretty simple. It's just a flat, looks like a black rubber band. And it's just gonna, just gonna put this right in here like this. There's only one way it can go. Just like that. And that goes up against there. You don't have to put thread tape on here. This is what seals it. Thread tape's not gonna, gonna help you any. And what that does, see how it sticks out there just a little bit? That goes up against and it seals. So let's put this on. Okay guys, what I'm what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to put this on without getting in your way too bad. So let me get back in here. This is gonna go down under here like this. And it's gonna go into that rubber pipe, which does not need glue. Okay, so I did away with with one of them rubber couplers because less to less to have to worry about leaking, right? So I'm just pushing down on that pipe. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and put this on first. And you shouldn't have to tighten these up with a pipe wrench. It should just be able to be hand tightened, which is not tight yet, of course. But okay, I'm gonna put this inside the rubber coupler over here. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to tighten this down. Now I'm going to tighten the rubber coupler down. I don't know if you can see because I've got the screen turned wrong on the camera. It's just those clamps. Check the other one. Like that. Alright. Now. Now let me get out of here. Now you can see what we've done. We have come off of there. We've done away with this one. So we've come off of there. What that does is, let me get you off the stand. I'll show you. This goes up on top of the house. For a pool heater but i guess one of them joints up there is leaking somewhere so what it's going to do is these are off this one's on so it's going to come up and down well actually it's going to bring it out of into here out of there through there up to here and then back down and here and then into the pool Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing next. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get cut what I need to get cut. And um, I got some Justin doing this apparently. It's not sitting right. I'm going to go ahead and get cut what I need to get cut. And I'll glue that together. If I have any issues, I'll turn you back on. If not, see, I'm just going to run two elbows. I'm going to run an elbow down here and an elbow like that so this will have to cut you know of course I'll have to cut that off some so that's all I'm going to do there I'll kick you back on when we start to pump up make sure there's no leaks okay guys we're getting ready to turn this on the switch is right over here right underneath that little thing there monkey's going to be filming now this the first thing you want to do is you want to open this up like this until it clicks it's a quarter turn water should flow steady out of here after about 30 seconds so monkey uh-huh yay i'm excited okay you excited yeah all right 
I'm excited. Well, let me go around here. I don't want to stand anywhere near that. Thing. All right. Why? Is it going to blow up? Well, it shouldn't, but it said to stand clear. You ready? Well, what about me? Am I far enough? Yes. Can you see? Look through the screen. Yeah, I can see. Okay. Right now, for about 30 seconds, we should see water coming out of that thing. Water where? Yeah, hold on. We saw water. Okay, but I got a leak back here. Oh. Uh, so, something ain't tight. Okay. Right here, it was leaking. For some reason. Alright, let me get that taken care of. And we'll be back with you for part, or try two. Okay. Okay. Alright, round two. I didn't have a seal in right when I was putting the seal in, it kind of popped out. So now we got this open again, so that bleeds the air out. We're gonna flip the switch on, and we're gonna wait on water to come out of there. Sounds better. Yeah. Now we're gonna close that. And it's running. Yeah. Everything seems to be good. Okay, show monkey. Oh my god, the pool is running. Yay! Now we're gonna take a break and we'll have a beer. And uh yeah. They get centered. There you go. Yep. Yep. So it is running? Awesome. Let it go for a little bit. We're going to let it go, make sure it's not going to start leaking. And um, then we'll get back to you when we get ready to leave. Yep. Man. Okay, so Monkey's putting stuff in the pool. Yeah. Still running. Let's go check this out here. Dry as a bone. Good pressure. No leaks. It does have a timer up here. I don't have it on a timer. We're just going to let it run for a couple days and she can set the timer and she comes back on Saturday. She's putting pool bleach in. So yeah, it's running good. Yes, it really is. You can see it going in through there where it's supposed to. And you can sit swirling around here. And she's gonna put some tablets in there. So, yeah. there we go, Mama. Yep. We got it working. Yep. Got it working. Yeah, the first time was just that little O ring I showed you. And have, when I put it in there, it must have popped out a little bit. But she was like, oh. Please. I'm like, why are you praying? Well, because the motor could seize up. It's been over Okay, a year. but I told her, though, the first thing I checked was the motor. It kicked on. Yeah, thank God. So, and we're lucky. And then she's, oh, please. No, you're not lucky. I'm we the man. We are lucky because we have you to help us. Oh, yeah, nice save. God sent you to us. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. I'm gone for now. Like, so, 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 bye, y'all. <laughs> bye, guys. Take care.